Hey everybody, let's see what Google has to say about Swift in 2021. So let me pop open my web browser and we're going to look at the Google here. Very cool. All right, so I typed in Swift programming and let's scroll down. What is Swift programming used for? We'll see what uh, Swift.org has to say. Swift is a general purpose programming language built using modern a modern approach to safety, performance, and software design patterns. The goal of the Swift project is to create the best language available for uses ranging from systems programming to mobile and desktop apps, scaling up to cloud services. Let's continue. Is Swift easier than Python? Swift runs as fast as C code, this is significant, without memory safe issues. In C, someone has to worry for memory management and it is easier to learn. This I can concur with this line 100%. Swift is a very cool language, technically speaking. This is achieved due to the LLVM compiler behind Swift, which is very powerful. Python interoperability using Python with Swift. I don't know what this is all about. So let me just say that Python runs much, much slower than Swift, but Python is super widely adopted. Is Swift faster than C++? It's interesting. There is continued debate of the performance of Swift in comparison to other languages such as C++ and Java. These benchmarks show that Swift outperforms Java on some tasks. Mandelbro Swift 3.9 seconds versus Java 6.83 seconds, but is significantly slower on a few binary trees. Swift 45 seconds, Java 8.32. Why are they talking about Java when they say C++? Eh, that's interesting. This video is sponsored by Tab9. Tab9 is an AI code completion plugin, helps developers code smarter and faster, supports most languages and IDEs. As you guys know, code completion is one of the key technologies that developers should use. That means using an IDE and using code completions. And now with AI powered code completing software like Tab9, it takes it to a whole new level. So why do you want to code complete? You're going to code faster. You're going to code cleaner because it completes your code. So you have less bugs, less typos, and you don't need to remember all the different methods and libraries and packages in the language that you happen to be using because the code completion especially AI-based ones like Tab9 will help you get there much more quickly. Tab9 is trained on OpenAI GPT-2 neural network, so it knows human common knowledge such as the months of the year and their order. It practically predicts the exact code that a developer was about to type and gets better as you use it. Tab9 has a free forever basic plan. The pro plan offers external GPU power and therefore provides better predictions. That's the cool thing about AI based software in that it improves over time on its own. Whereas non AI based software, traditional software, the developer has to actually do the work to improve the quality of the product. So with Tab9, you have the power of code completion injected into your uh, favorite IDE. So you notice that Tab9 supports AI code completion, JavaScript, Python, TypeScript, PHP, Java, C++, Go, Rust. So covering a wide range of languages. In fact, Tab9 supports just about every modern programming language used today. Take a look at Tab9. The link is below. Very cool stuff. Let's continue. Is Swift hard to learn? Swift is only as difficult as any programming language if you do not have any prior programming experience. If you can pick up the basic concepts of a programming language, Swift should be reasonably easy to learn. It's vast and complex, but not impossible to learn. I've learned the basics of Swift, and I can tell you it's not any more complex than any other language. And in fact, I would put it on the easier side of the scale. I would say like, you know, assembler, assembly and C and C++ more difficult, Java more difficult. On the other side, Python, Swift, uh, JavaScript, PHP on the easier end of the scale. Of course, I'm sure people will debate that with me. Should I learn Python or Swift? If you are fond of developing mobile applications that will work seamlessly on Apple operating systems, you should definitely choose Swift. Well, of course, 
Swift is good in case you want to develop your own artificial intelligence, build backend, or create a prototype. Python is, excuse me, Python is good. Python is more of a general purpose programming language, and uh, that's where you would use it. Again, artificial intelligence, server automation, backend stuff, etc. Uh, Python, Swift rather, you can use Swift to do server-side programming, but it's very niche -y. Generally speaking, you're using Swift to write iOS apps and apps for macOS. Should I learn C++ Swift? Swift, in my, hum in my humble opinion, is better than C++ in almost every area. This is core, this is a core thing. If a language were compared in a vacuum, it gives similar performance, it has much stricter and better type system, Swift is a lot faster to learn as a language. Right, let's jump into that and see what's going on here in Quora. So when was this written? Uh, this was written 2019, so fairly recent. I'm recording this in 2029. Uh, I've tried all sorts of programming languages from assembly to Lisp. The killer feature of C++ has, has is seamless integration with C code, as well as being able to establish language which is a, as well as being established language which a lot of code is written C. Okay, okay, so it's for, okay, let me scroll down. It has nothing to do with Swift here. Uh, yeah, no, that's weird. See the links here, I don't see no Swift. I'm sure it was down here somewhere, but uh, we'll skip that for now. So uh, what else do we say? Uh, is Swift better than Python? Is Swift better than Python? Python projects take less time to complete, but fare low on performance and efficiency. Swift adopts safe programming patterns and adds modern features to make programming easier, more flexible, and fun. This is from this site here. All right, uh, does Apple use Python? The top programming languages at Apple by a job volume are topped by Python by a significant margin, really, followed by C++, Java, Objective-C, Swift, Perl, Perl, and JavaScript. If you're interested in learning Python yourself, begin with python.org, that's what I would say, for sure. Uh, okay, okay, so let's go into, um, we did this. Let's look at this. I was doing a little bit of Google Trends. So Swift jobs versus PHP jobs, kind of neck and neck all over the place, you know, depending on the time. Now, if I typed in Swift programming, because this is what you get versus PHP, we're going to type in programming. And it's kind of neck and neck. Now, the problem is if I just type in Swift, the problem is Swift is such a generic term, it pulls off you know, all kinds of different things, you know. So you can't really compare it this way. So we'd have to Swift, let's say iOS versus, usually when you have a programming language, like Python versus PHP versus Java, you can get some relative numbers. Here it's very difficult because of the fact that Swift is such a generic term. So this is kind of useless. We'll move on from here. I guess if you're going to learn Swift, just go to swift.org. You got everything you need here, installing it, etc. I believe you can only, I guess you can do it on Windows, yeah. Visual Studio and Swift, you will need to install both TouchChain installer and download a Visual Studio to it. Ah, so it looks like you can run uh, Swift on Windows. There you go, I was not aware of that. So there you go. So if you want to do Swift, uh, there, are your, there are your options. You can learn Swift, Mac OS or Windows, of course. If I were learning Swift, I would be someone with a, a Mac a computer, but definitely you can learn it there. Let me conclude this video by saying if you want to learn software development, you want to learn how to get a job as a programmer or coder, I invite you to take a look at my developers mentoring program. You go to studioweb.com slash mentoring, links below, and you will be able to check out the program, everything that you're going to learn lifetime access, hundreds of lessons and quizzing, certifications. This whole program is designed to teach you how to code as a pro developer and then to take those coding skills and to get a job. This is a new mentoring program, relatively new for me, but I started about a year ago and I've opened it up again where I'm taking on new mentees and join up in the private community learn how to code, learn how to get a job, and uh, jump in with our private Zoom meetings, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Take a look at a program. If you have any questions, you can reach me via email directly. 
you find the links on this page. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video on Swift useful. Bye-bye.